Hey guys, it's time for another pattern at pattern-collections.com. I'm going to go to fat pattern focus and we're going to scroll down to four star culade. Well, let's see what this does. Sorry, it's kind of dark, but I had to do that. Um, I had to turn off the light in order for you guys to see the phone. So it kind of ends up a little dark. It's it's not dark outside. Well, it's a little gloomy, but maybe we'll get some rain. I don't know. I'm sure the contractor would prefer we don't get rain because he's not going to get that far. But okay. Anyway. Four Star Coulade by Miriam Gressnight. Gressnight? I don't know. Miriam. Um, so, step number one. We're going to make this shape and this shape. Kind of like some girl's hair, but not connected. I don't know what that is. And then we're going to do that again going the other way. So they actually look like brackets to me. Going like this. Like that, right? And then another one going the other way. Two brackets. I may draw them all as one move. Like that and like that. And then turn it around and then do like that and like that. Yeah. Because it looks like it's a CPT of four star. CPT is creative pattern tangling. So if you ever see this on a um, on one of our patterns, our upcoming patterns, toward the end of this uh, of 2017, Ina came out with a book and it talked about creative pattern tangling. So uh, it's a way to take an existing pattern, which apparently is four star, and do something different with it. So um, you could look up four star on the website and see how this pattern differs from that one. So then it looks like we're going to do that again. We're going to do a bracket and then a bracket, right? And then looks like inside those brackets, we're going to connect every other spot, like the one where it's where they connect right there. We're going to connect those into like a curvy square. And then the other spots, we're going to do that again, the middle ones. So we end up with this star shape in the middle, like that. And then what? Is that it? Oh, that's it. Okay. And then here is the sample with it made into that shape and then all this other embellishment around the outside. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, but that's the shape we're aiming for is that one right there. Now let's see what we can do with it. Um, I'm gonna turn on my light. Watch your eyes. It's going to create a bright spot. Okay. And zoom in just a little bit. I'm not quite used to this setup yet. We'll see what happens. Okay, so I want to do a bracket. I'm just going to do one big one in the middle. So a bracket like... That. And then I'm going to turn it. And I'm going to do like that. And then like that. And like that. Okay, that's not very uh, symmetrical. But that's okay. Don't think it has to be. And then where they intersect here. We're going to go around and make sort of a curvy square like that. 
and then where they inter don't intersect here, do that again. And that creates sort of a star shape in the middle and these sort of arms. And then we can do whatever we want with them. Embellish them as we see fit. Do you have any ideas besides what she already did on her sample, which was to do the like petals? I'm not sure I want to do that. I want to do something different. Because, you know, that's what I do. I do something different. Um, not happy with the fact that these don't quite line up. So I need to do something to make that. better. I do like the idea of petals, but I don't want them to end up here. I don't want them to go toward this side. So what do I want to do? Let's start here and go this way instead. Just going to do three to start with on each one just so I get an idea of where I'm headed with it. If I decide it needs something else, I will add it. They look like bunches of bananas. Okay, well that looks totally different. Um, what should I do with that? Interesting shape. I think I'm gonna keep going around. Why not? Why not? That's a little weird. Whatever. Just a little weird. But you know what? That's part of experimenting and playing. It doesn't always have to go the way you expect. And that's part of creative pattern tangling. So, um, Miriam had taken four star and had done some creative pattern tangling with it. Now I'm taking <coughs> four star culade and doing the same thing. I'm adding something else to it and making it something different altogether. <coughs> it's just the nature of the evolution of a pattern it is so much fun to just do something else. <clears throat> Sorry about the 
All of a sudden I'm all congesty. I don't know. Could be all the construction dust. The painter did have to come today and finish painting in the bathroom. The bathroom is finally finished. Everything except for the um, glass shower doors. Bathroom is finally finished. So, but they did have to come and paint one last time today. And I think that maybe I'm affected by that. Chemicals. Chemicals and I do not get along well. Um, I feel like this one's kind of floating in space. So I'm going to kind of anchor this one. Maybe go behind. So it looks like it's coming out from there. Like that. Sure. Sure, that works. And it comes out from behind there. Oops. That one got a little up. Got it one that one got away from me. I'm not how sure I'm going to do that one because that one ended up way in front like that, but we'll see. That works. I've got some big poofy I'm not sure what I've got some big poofies happening there and I'm way over on the side of my tile which makes it a little awkward so I need something coming here Need that shape again. So now I've made myself some shooting stars coming out from this cluster of whatever this is. Okay, mine looks totally nothing like the sample, which is par for the course. I've decided that I want dark in here, but I don't want to come all the way up to that line. So I'm going to aura this and then fill in here. And I switched over to my little bit thicker marker just to make it easier to color in. You don't have to if you don't have one. You can color in with your thin one. Sounds like maybe my backyard guys have gone to lunch bit quieter. You probably can't hear it, which is good. I tried to get my 
area where I'm filming as far away from construction noise as possible. Am I doing anything fancy? No, I'm just filling in a little bit. Add a little bit of dark. I'm just trying to keep a little bit of a margin away so that you can still see the shape like that. I was probably off screen. I'm gonna take it's gonna take me a bit to get used to this new camera setup. Um, I tried to get as close as I could to the other one, but I couldn't get you know it's a different table, it's a different height. Yeah. Couldn't quite get my camera in the same place because it's just a different setup. So I want circles, dots. I don't know why. Could use the smaller nib in these smaller spots. Probably should switch over to my smaller pen, but you know what? I'm just going for it. It's not critical. It's not like it's not like this artwork is permanent or archival of any kind. I mean, it it's got good ink quality, so it could be archival, but you know. I don't expect them to last forever. Um, highly likely I will just give this away. You know, for me, once I've drawn it and taken a picture of it, it's done. It doesn't need to stay here with me. I can put it out there in the world. And I will most likely do so. circles because they just are making me happy. I don't have any uh, expectation or plan as to what size they are or where they're ending up. They're just going where they feel like they need to live. I feel like I need a few over here. Some have little white sparkle dots, spots, and some do not. One more. It needs one more. Okay. That's making me happy. You know, I just keep drawing until I'm I'm happy. That's, that's all you need to do. I'm going to um, put a little bit of shading where my little guys overlap one another and maybe a little bit right in the middle of each of the little flowery kind of shapes. It's 
just smudge that around and it'll make that look fat and fluffy like a peppermint puff. Could do some striping in there, that would be fun too. But I don't feel like it. But you could. star shapes. Okay, now I'm going to grab my blending stump. Give that a little oof de doop Just soft. Give it just a little, a little bit of life. I feel like the Shading gives my tile life. And you'll notice that I didn't pick a light source. Don't have a direction on this particular one. Oops, I forgot to even put a little bit in there. I'll just use what's left on my stump. That's okay. That'll work. Just nice and soft. we go. Oh, how pretty is that? See, you just keep drawing until you're happy. I need to put, it's called four star, what was that? Four star culade. Whatever that means. Oop, my battery's running low. I need to go plug in my computer. Um, how's it going to live? I think it wants to live this way. Or... There we go. That looks like fun. I enjoyed myself. I need to go plug in some batteries and I will be back to see you tomorrow. And I'm going to go peek out and see what my contractors are doing. Uh, build a bob. Yeah. I will see you tomorrow. You have a great and blessed day. Go out and do something nice for somebody today and let's help make 2018 a um, banner year. All right. See you later. Bye.